video, I'm going to talk about customizing the counters in Knit Companion a little bit more. We're going to cover simple counters and linked counters. And if you're new to KC or Knit Companion, you haven't tried it yet, just go to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and search for Knit Companion, one word, and you can download the free version of the software, which has which is very robust. It has a ton of features that you will use most. It's a great way to interact easily with your PDF patterns, keep track of where you are with the highlighter bar, it has the counters, it stays awake the whole time you're using it. It is a great app. I think everybody who tries it likes this app. But I'm always concerned that <laughs> someone's going to say, oh, I'm curious about Knit Companion. I want to give it a try. And they're going to watch this video first. Don't watch this video first. I have other Knit Companion videos in the series. Just click the little I in the upper right hand corner. I'll put a, a link in the video description field below of my playlist of videos. Watch the first video first on the basics of the software. Um, I just don't want anyone to feel overwhelmed by <laughs> the software if they watch this one first because I'm going to be talking about things assuming that people are a bit familiar with the software and not just it being introduced to it today. Um, the things I'm going to talk about are simple counters and linked counters. Simple counters are available in the basic version of the software and the linked counters um, are available in the essentials, the second tier of the software and this is available for both Apple and Android. And when I'm talking about people getting feeling overwhelmed with the software, I had this story, my own story here, happen a couple of days ago. I was starting a new project, knitting a Fair Isle hat. I'm kind of on a Fair Isle hat kick right now. And I opened the pattern in my iPad and I had the app recognize the chart and got one tap chart set up and I realized after I did it that it took me about 10 seconds. You know, I'm learning this software along with you. Knit Companion sends me the topic for the next video and I learn it and I practice it and then I can show you. And so when, you know, these things are still kind of new to me when I make the videos, but with practice, this stuff becomes so second nature and so easy, just like with knitting, just like with anything, that you get to know. I feel like I'm, I know the software now, I know it to, expect it to be able to do. I know the basics of, you know, the edit and the setup and the plus button and what these things can do. So just with practice and getting to, getting a chance to use the features that you like the most, it does become very much second nature and very easy. So again, don't watch this video first. <laughs> Watch the other videos first. Okay, let's talk about linked counters and how those are useful. When you're working on a pattern, I know you've seen this before, those words at the same time, where you have multiple things going on that will require multiple counters. Like here's an example. You're knitting a sweater and it has a big cable down the front and that is a 20 row repeat, right? So that's one counter. And then on either side of that big cable, you have another cable that's different and that's a 12 row repeat. It's two counters and then also, at the same time, you have waist shaping, for example. That's a third counter. Um, you could set up three counters, three basic counters, and tap, tap, tap. Every time you complete a round, tap three times to advance those three counters. Or you can link those counters, tap once, have all three of them advance together. Um, it's a very cool feature and, well, I'm excited to show you because I'm really enjoying this feature of the software. So is that all I had to say up front here? Yes, let's take a look. Okay, so here I am in my project. This should look pretty familiar to you if you're familiar with the software. Um, I have this project called Cabled Fingerless Mitts and I picked this one, this is one of my own patterns. I picked this one because we have a big cable running up the mitt and then at the same time, we do the thumb gusset. And this is a simple way for me to show you how the linked counters work. But first, let's talk about the regular counters over here that I'm sure you've used on every project so far. You tap them to advance, right? And if you long tap, you get the name of, whoops, I just touched the screen. You long tap, you get the name of the counter, the value, and you can frog one row to jump back 
or tap the reset button to set it back to zero or the original number. And then you tap the screen to get rid of it. And that's in the basics version. Now, if you have the essentials version in Android or Apple, you can tap the edit button up here, which gives you a lot more options with the counters. So over here in the menu on the right, you see the little abacus, you tap that, and this will let you customize the counters. You can name them. I'm gonna name this one Big Cable. And you can change the color to a different color if you like. And then here, you can change the direction of the counter. This is counting from zero to 999. You can have it count down, which I just did, so it's counting the other way. And I'm going to have it count just to 10. Whoops, I have to take out 999. Just to 10. And then the count by is, this is going to count by ones, but you can set that to count by twos or threes or whatever number you want. So let's take a look at what that looks like. And here, you can customize all of the counters over here. Um, let's take a look at what that looks like by tapping knit again. And now you see this counter that I just customized is, uh, it says 10 because when I tap it, it's going to count backwards from 10. And when it gets to zero, it goes back to 10 again. It's just going to keep repeating 10 to zero, 10 to zero. And if I long tap, I can see the name of the, um, the name of the counter, in case I ever get confused and I have a bunch of counters going. So that's customizing these counters here. So let's take a look at um, getting linked counters set up because we do have all these things going on uh, in this mitts pattern and I wanna set it up so that these counters are linked so I can tap once and have them all advance or both of them in this case. So I go to edit up here and then we use the abacus the first time. Now we're going to use the abacus with a little link icon next to it. And that's how we set up linked counters. And just like with everything in Knit Companion, I've got this plus key here. I'll tap that. And you get two options, an action counter or a repeat counter. And you'll see how different those are because I'm going to set up one of each. This is going to be a repeat counter because the big cable pattern is a 20 row repeat that I do twice. So I'm going to say repeat. And here we have all options that are in the simple counters as well. I can change the color. And for this one, the counter runs from 1 to 20. Whoops, not 29, 20, just like I said. And it repeats twice. OK. Here, I'm almost done with this already. Here, the start row, I want to leave at one, and I'm going to leave manual start off. We're gonna talk about manual start when I set up the next one. But you can set the start row at whatever you want, and if you have multiple, multiple counters going on, it might be that you want to start the, well, let me put it this way. Let's say that this pattern says, start the thumb gusset on row, 15 of the cable pattern. Um, I, in my next counter, I would put start row at 15 for that. We'll talk about that in a minute because I'm not doing the thumb gusset yet. This is the big cable. So I actually have that all set up now. And I could just tap knit and start working with that counter if I wanted to, or because these are linked, I'd like to set up another one to link them together. So I'll tap the plus button again, and this time I'm going to set up an action counter. So I tap that, and I'm going to name this one Thumb Gusset. And the action here is increase twice between markers. OK, so. Thumb gusset, increase twice between mark markers. How many times am I going to do it? I'm going to do it eight times. How often? This is how, how many rounds, right? I'm, I'm going to do it every other round. So two here, so the number here would be two. If I left it at one, it would be every round, right? 
The start row, this is where we're going to talk about this again, start row and manual start. In this pattern, it doesn't tell me to start the cable at row 15, like the example I gave. It says start the, not the cable, the thumb gusset. It says to start the thumb gusset on once you have 6.5 inches of the mitt knit. So that needs to be a manual start. I need to measure to see when I hit 6.5 inches to let the software know. So that's all set up. I'm happy with, with that. So I can just go to knit. I just put hand lotion on my hands. I wonder if that makes a difference in touching the screen. <laughs> so now here, down here in the bottom window, I have my linked counters. This big green button is the one button that I need to tap when I finish a round because that's the one that's keeping track of everything else because these are stuck together. This first one here, the one through 20, start at row one, that's my big cable. This one here is the thumb gusset. And you see in the thumb gusset, it says every two rows, thumb gusset, tap to start. Remember, I hit manual start. So once I hit 6.5 inches, I can tap that to have that counter start for me. Okay, so I'm going to start advancing through these rows. I'm fastest knitter in the world advancing through these rows. And you see in this counter, first of all, it's not grayed out anymore because it's an active counter. And you see the number here is the number here. And that's gonna become important in just a second. Nine, 10, Okay, this is a 20 row, 20 round cable, right? So I have this set up to count from one to 20. And once I hit 21, this counter goes back to one. So I know which row I'm on in the cable pattern. The big counter is counting all of the rows. This one is counting which, which row I'm on in the cable pattern. Okay, so I wanted to show you that that's going to advance there and there. Let's say I've, I've hit 6.5 inches in my knitting. I'm ready for this one to start. So I start that one. Look at here. Now I have a to-do. Increase twice between the markers. So everything I need is right here. That's my cable. That's my thumb gusset. Those are my instructions for this round. Next round. No thumb gusset instructions because I was only doing that every other row, right? So this one, I'm on row three of the cable pattern. No instructions for the thumb gusset. Again, because <laughs> this is every other round, my thumb gusset instructions come up and I'm on row four for the cable pattern. Isn't that great? And this isn't it. Like you can be knitting along with, with a, a pattern and you know, let's say you are working on a sweater and the waist increases don't come until later, you can go to edit and add, whoops, go to linked counters and add a third, a third linked counter, keeping all of those together. And I guess one other thing I wanna show you is once you, fastest knitter in the world here, right? Maybe I shouldn't have set that one at 20. Okay, so I have finished all of my thumb gusset stitches and you see this one grayed out again. I'm done with that one. I'm not gonna get any more thumb gusset instructions. Isn't that great? Because I told it ahead of time what I, what I had in my pattern and what I needed from these link counters and this one continues to go. I'm on 18 of the, tw of the second 20 row repeat. And now both of them are grayed out. I've finished these instructions. It's probably time for me to start the, the, the finishing, <laughs> finishing this mitt or whatever comes next. I think that's it. Let me check my notes. Yes. And that is it. Next month, <clears throat> we have another Knit Companion video on smart counters. And I'm not quite sure what those are yet, but according to Knit Companion, it seems like they are 
colleagues or friends or opposites or something <laughs> has more to do with the counters. I'm looking forward to learning it and showing you. Again, if you uh, would like to get the Knit Companion app, just go to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and search for Knit Companion, one word. And that's it for this time. Good luck.